What's going on guys? It's Wrath, bringing you another Dauntless video. I know it's been a while since you've actually seen any videos from me, but when you're playing the game as much as I am, it really doesn't leave much room for editing. I have a good bit of gameplay stacked away, but I'm really focused on getting the end game and then working my way back around with these videos, so if you don't see something from me daily, you'll know why. I'm going to be trying to be producing a video within 2-3 to three days, or more like 3-4 to four days of the other, but I wouldn't hold your breath. Because right now I'm in college and I'm enrolled in six classes, so my schedule is pretty stacked 24/7. So it really depends on the week and how it's going. So don't really expect a, a set schedule for me too much. And because of there's no schedule, I think it would be best for you to go to my channel and beside the subscribe button, click that little bell and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. I think the next video I'll be uploading is a montage of me killing the Stormclaw a few times and a few tips on how to defeat him. So stay tuned for that. Now, if you've already seen my most recent video, you'll see that the winner of my giveaway actually had some crazy luck and won two giveaways and already claimed this code. So instead of remaking the whole giveaway, I just decided to re-roll and uh, just, give the w just give it to somebody else who was already in the video. So the giveaway winner this time was actually Mogul85, so congratulations to him for winning. I've since emailed him with a confirmation and he was more than happy. So yeah man, I hope to play with you in the closed beta, Mogul. For those who didn't win, there's always going to be more giveaways, dude. So, not only on my channel, but there's actually a few other channels that have giveaways going on right now. So, I'll be linking a few of those in the description. And just be sure to tell them that Wrath sent you. Now, let's get to the actual topic of this video. So, in this gameplay, as you can already see, I'm soloing the tier 2 boss, Embermane. Now, Embermane falls into the group of monsters that can be easily stunned, or as the Dauntless community calls it, Booping the Snoot? Yeah, um, we're a little weird, man. There are a few other monsters that come to my mind when I think about that. Uh, such as Shrike, the Scrave, um, Moon Reaver Shrike, and the Tier Boss, Tier 3 Boss, sorry, Pangar. It's not too difficult of a task to complete, and it's most easily done with a hammer or chain blades. And really, the only thing you have to do in order to successfully stun the Embermain and the rest of those monsters is to form an attack perfectly timed while they're mid-charge, and they'll topple over and give you an, a window to attack in. Now, I would say that the dual blades are probably best for not getting punished, so if you're still learning the boss and how to uh, stun him and knock him over, I would recommend dual blades just so you won't be dying constantly, but once you understand the timing, it'll be super easy to do it with the, um, with the hammer. And in this video, I think I show off a pretty decent guide of how to do that. And though I don't stun him every single time, you can pretty much see the timing that's required to stun him. And that's mostly what I was going for. I decided that I would use my storm hammer for the simple fact that I just wanted to keep this video short enough to commentate over, or at least commentate over a, a large portion of it, and give you all the information that you might need to fight this boss. Now I know many of you are still farming to get gear to be able to farm him, so this should give a little insight towards that. I understand that a few fair people are also having problems getting specific drops, such as the burning hoof bones, smoked dew, dew claws, and the burning claws to create his armor. I figure while I'm here, I may as well go over that also. So to get the burning hoofs, all you have to do is kill the rams that spawn in the desert and get lucky. Uh, those are a pretty common drop, and the only reason any of us had any problems getting that before is because until a recent patch, the rams didn't even spawn in the biome, so there was actually no way of getting it. To get the Burning Claw and the Dew Claws, however, it's a little bit more difficult. From my knowledge, in order to get a Burning Claw, you must break Embermane's Claw during Rage Mode. And for the Dew Claw, you must break his back during Rage Mode. Now, I might be incorrect about the order of those. So, to get the Dew Claw, you might have to break his Claw in Rage Mode. And get the Burning Claw is to break his back in Rage Mode. I'm not sure. It's kind of hard because they're both Claws. But I would try to break his back and his Claws and just see for yourself which it does. Now Embermane doesn't have an absurd amount of health, but he is very mobile, and that makes it pretty hard for heavy weapon users to do any serious damage. Uh, without the ability to stun him with my gunfire, I'm pretty sure that I would have been here for much, much longer. Uh, the whole fight only lasted about 9 minutes with this strategy, with my current weapon. It would take about 15 to 16 minutes with a weaker weapon. However, if you can take this video and apply it to a strategy in group play, I have no doubt that you'll be rocking the full armor set in no time. So I pretty much think that sums up everything I felt like talking about in this video. Uh, let me know if any monster specifically is giving you any trouble, and I'll make a solo guide for it if it's reasonable to solo. 
And if I don't think it's reasonable enough to solo, I'll get a buddy or two of mine to tag along and we'll discuss strategies in order to make your fight go a little bit more smoothly. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, it also wouldn't hurt to turn on those notifications before you leave today. So you'll be immediately notified when the next video goes live. And you can be the hashtag first to see my videos. Thanks for watching. It's been Wrath. And I will talk to you next time. Later.